recently videos for a few days. I went on a lovely trip to Dubai. Um, you may have seen a video saying that I was going and I was at the airport and I was going to try and play some videos at the beach and stuff, but I literally couldn't upload any videos when I was out there. The Wi-Fi in the hotel was shocking. So anyway, I'm back and tonight I'm going to make some mashed potato. This is one of my favourite recipes to make in the Thermomix because it's so easy. You literally put the ingredients in and you walk away and 25 minutes later you come back to Michelin star mashed potato. So I'm going to be making mashed potato and sausages and some steamed broccoli for the kids. What I'm actually going to do is I put the ingredients in and set this off. Uh, it takes 25 minutes so after about 15 minutes I'll put the sausages on the grill and then I'm going to put the Varoma basket on top and I'm going to steam the broccoli so um, so that you're not sitting around waiting for, for it to cook. Um, I will do this bit of the video and then I will post another video just as I'm finishing off so you can see the mashed potato and you can see the Varoma working on top just steaming those vegetables. Okay so I have already peeled and chopped some potatoes up and some butter so it's super easy and then we've got all the ingredients listed here on the chip so the mashed potatoes so once the um, the potatoes cut and the salt milk butter and some ground nutmeg you can actually the ground nutmeg is obviously optional um, and I actually normally don't put that in and then I put something else in like some truffle oil or something you can also obviously do some different flavors mashed potatoes um, you could do uh, mustard or or um, like mature cheddar super super yummy okay so the first thing it wants us to do is insert the butterfly whisk which is this little device and this is such a dream okay so I'm just gonna pop that in like so it literally just sits on the nodule like that okay and then the next thing it wants us to do is to add the potatoes so got the potatoes here and the scales are already coming up so we just want that to go up until it says a thousand grams okay so I'm just putting all the potatoes in like so oops sorry tricky doing this one-handed filming maybe when I'm super rich I'll get someone else to Come and film for me but for the moment i hope you can bear with me okay there we go uh 1005 grams so just you know if you go slightly over as i said before it really doesn't make any difference all right so next it wants some salt i'm just gonna need both my hands for this obviously this is you know to your to your own taste how much salt you want i'm making this for the kids tonight so i'm not going to put too much in i can always add a bit to mine later and i will also be adding um some pepper to mine later on too. Okay, now it wants 350 grams of milk. So when you're adding the liquids, just go a little bit slowly. Obviously, if it's 350 grams, you can speed up in the beginning and then just go a little bit slowly as you reach the final amount. There we go, 350 grams. It just takes a couple of seconds to catch up when you're adding liquids. All right, so the next thing it wants us to do is without the measuring cup put the lid on so we're just adding the lid on there without this measuring cup in inserted and then because it's all all uh, on the computer ship the instructions for the actual machine and um, the thermomix are pre-programmed so this is set for 25 minutes it's going to be at 98 celsius and it's asking you to turn the speed to number one there we have it okay it's just saying if the milk starts to boil in the mixing bowl reduce the temperature to 95 celsius so um basically that is just going to do its job and i'm going to come back in 25 minutes to the most amazing delicious super smooth mashed potato this really is Michelin star, as I said before, mashed potato. Heston Blumenthal would be proud of this mashed potato. I'm super proud of the mashed potato because with a normal potato masher, I could never get it to be this quality. The kids absolutely adore it. They're almost like eating it out of the Thermomix. They love it so much. So it's a win-win situation. So I'm going to come back and do the rest of the video later, like I said. And that's all for now. Ciao!